We're in Microsoft Exchange 2016 and about to open up Outlook Web Access. So let's go ahead and put in our domain name, our username, and then our password and click sign in. Now that we're logged in, you can take a look at the defaults, the way they're set up. We can see we have the administrator mailbox on the bottom, which we can click to collapse or expand. And we also have our favorites. And you can add to those favorites or delete those favorites. The reason those favorites are there is basically if you have a lot of different boxes, then having your favorites, the ones you go to most often, can be a real help. If you want to create a new email, just click on New. And then if you want to click from your global address list, just click on the two box. And you can see we only have one in there for right now, just for testing purposes. Click OK. And you can type in your subject. And you can add all kinds of different things, such as smiley faces, etc. You can also add an attachment if you want. There are add-ins from templates. If you don't see any add-ins, you can create some templates and then you can add those in. If you want to discard your changes and start over again, just go ahead and click discard. And you can click discard there or say don't discard and we can keep going. Click on the three dots at the top. You can do several things such as save the draft, show BCC, check names, set importance. You can see the exclamation point there. Switch to plain text if people are having a hard time seeing what you're typing. And you can see the message options as well, such as the sensitivity. And you can also set a request delivery receipt or read receipt. And when you're all done, you can click send. Now that we're done with email, we can go ahead and click in the upper left-hand corner on the box with all the dots, and you can choose Calendar. From here, there's all different kinds of calendar things that you can set, just like the traditional calendar. You can see that right now we have it set by the week, but you can also change that view so it's by the day or by the month, etc. To create a calendar item, just double-click anywhere, put in the details, and then click Save. Let's go back and choose People. This is where your contacts are. And you can add contacts just by clicking on New and putting in the name of the person that you want to put in, first name, last name, email, display as, phone number, and there's all kinds of other information as well. When you're done, go ahead and click Save. Unless you actually add a, an email address, you're not going to be able to send email to that person, but you can at least see other information that's on there. And now we'll click on Tasks. We can take out the garbage. We can see that that is overdue. If we say double click on it, and we see the details. There's the due date. You can put in notes, etc. And then click Save. If we no longer want it, we can just click the Delete. And that takes us back to Mail. Let's click on the gear in the top, and you can see several options, such as setting up automatic replies. So you can send automatic replies, and you can set up the reply period and the message that you want to say, I'm on vacation, etc. You can also send the replies to external senders as well as internal. And when you're done, just go ahead and click OK. And now when anybody sends an email, they'll get an automatic reply saying you're out of the office. We've got display settings, such as showing the reading pane. By default, you can see it's on the right. You can change it to the bottom if you want, or you can hide it altogether. Let's take a look and see what it looks like on the bottom. And there we are. There it is on the bottom. Go ahead and change that back again. And now it's on the right.
Let's go ahead and go down to options and you can see a lot of different options. You can do, also do the automatic replies here as well, but we've got junk mail reporting, mark as read, read receipt, block or allow certain people that we don't want to get email from them anymore. Layout, email signatures, all kinds of things. And we've got the calendar as well. You can set up special calendar such as birthday calendars, calendar appearance, notification, reminders, etc. Let's go ahead and click back. So there's an overview of Outlook Web Access in Microsoft Exchange 2016.